And in that shift, you are ignoring your past. You're ignoring the future. You're ignoring all these stories that your mind tells you. Everything you're declining and ignoring, and you're just bringing your attention to one point within. And you will get a glimpse of the observer, of the witness. Something inside you is witnessing. So as you bring your attention, the first step that what happens is you become a witness of your body, of your body activities. And as the awareness comes, you're slowly not being a robot. You're not being mechanical. You're just observing yourself from inside. You're observing your body. What does your body do? You're becoming aware of your physical activities. You're making that your job of just watching what does my body do throughout the day? Which no one ever tells us that. So you start to watch it. Then, as you do that, then you begin to observe your thoughts. I'm not talking about, don't fall into this trap, and I want to be very clear about this so there is no misunderstanding about this because people come and tell me oh Zarathustra yeah I've been uh, looking at my thoughts and I've been trying to think positive and I'm not talking about positive thinking or positive visualization or manifesting and you keep thinking of something you want so it manifests and you don't say any b wrong words so you manifest the right thing. I'm not talking about any of that, okay? Please pay attention. Don't come back to me later on and tell me I said that. I've never said that. You're simply aware of your thoughts. You're watching your mind. And sometimes your mind is heavy and comes with all these bombardments, bombarding you with thoughts especially on a Monday morning, especially if you get some bad news, especially if you've been rejected by someone that you're attracted to or your kids or something or whatever, or you got some bad news from your doctor. It's always related to someone, something external outside of you. So you have an awareness of your mind coming with all these thoughts and you're simply watching it. As if you're standing watching a parade passing in front of you. You're simply being a mirror you are observing your thoughts. You're observing your emotions. The thoughts are much faster. But you can see the totality. The, the content of what is going on. You're not trying to hang on to every single thought. You're simply aware of mind bombardments, of a series of thoughts, of whatever story is happening in your mind, whatever news you're receiving in your head, you're simply aware of what is going on. And you're, by sta you're standing outside. You're not a participant in your thought pattern and thought stream. You're simply observing it. 
And then comes your emotions, strong changing emotions. And as you're just there watching, you take the position of being like a mirror. A mirror doesn't care if a pretty face comes and look, a gorgeous, beautiful face of a man or a woman or whatever is looking in a mirror. The mirror reflects that back. And then an ugly face comes and look, and the mirror doesn't have any kind of story about that either. It simply is a reflection. Its job is to be there, not to judge. You do the same thing with your own thoughts and emotions coming and going. You're simply watching them. You're not judging anything. Oh, I'm such a bad person because I'm wishing I don't want to spend time with my parents or I'm such a bad person because I don't really want to be with my kids or I'm such a bad person because I have these strong sexual desires. I'm such a bad person because of this, because of that. Your fears, your depression, whatever comes, you're simply aware of it. You're simply watching it. But there is no judgments. There is no story about it. Then you go into the third level. You go into the heart. And you're watching the subtle, you are refining because you're doing the work. You have been in the first step, stage of watching the thoughts because you're doing the inner work, work so your attention is here. So you have seen the thoughts come and go. You're seeing these emotions, strong emotions strong passion. You get so fiery about things, especially if someone says something that really touches your prejudice, your conditioning, your conditioned mind. Someone is triggering your emotions because you're so passionate about whatever. You're football team, your basketball team, your soccer team, your nation, your way of thinking, your religion, your guru, your actors, actresses, your politicians. You're so passionate about it. Now you're just watching, watching these. And then you start to refine. And now you're looking you're more diving into the heart. The more the awareness comes, like there is 10% awareness and there's 90% thoughts. But the more you're just remaining at this place of simple observation without any kind of involvement, the greater is the awareness and the, and the thoughts and the stream of the thoughts and powerful emotions go down. They start to reduce. It's slowly, slowly going down and more awareness is taking place. Now you're coming into the subtle stuff. 